Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Hey guys! So this is kind of like my part two, I guess, of my haul, which is probably going to be three parts. So let's just get into this right away, because the last video was a little bit on the longer side for me. So some of the, two of these horses have a story behind them on why I got them. I actually wasn't even there when I got them. My parents got these guys for me because I was at, if you guys don't know what it is, it's called drag con. It is basically where a majority of them are gay men dress up as females and know they're not cross-dressers. They are just really into women impersonation and basically it was a convention for this and it was super fun and well it was fun to an extent it got boring when all you're doing is waiting in line to meet your favorite drag queen but besides that my parents felt bad for me because my sister is dragging me along and so they went and bought me two well they bought me three briar horses but one of them was a double so my parents gave it away to a friend of theirs. So anyways, without further ado, I will introduce them. So the first one I got was Empress. And Empress, I have... I don't really know how I feel about Empress. I'm not a huge fan of Arabians, but I am in love with the bay color, and that's why I picked it. And the second horse I got from um, Dragon, I guess you could say, is Brenuelo. I got these guys... Well, my parents got these guys at a, I believe it's like a tax called The Broken Horn. It's actually in LA, which I'm really surprised there's a tax shop in LA, but I guess there's more to LA than city. And then I got this guy offline because I thought he was really cool and I got him on Cyber Monday because I got a discount on him. And it's the 80th anniversary of Tractor Supply, of the Tractor Supply Company, which I thought was pretty cool. Oh my god, hey, you guys can see me. So, yeah, I thought he was a pretty cool horse. I love bays. And it kind of looks like Shadow now that I think about it. Oh my god, I found it. <laughs> and then this horse, I actually don't know its name, but I'm pretty sure it does have a name. So if you guys know the name of this horse, please comment it down below because I like to know my horse's names. <laughs> I got this beautiful Palomino horse. Actually, I got this horse on accident off eBay. I was looking at it and I guess I accidentally press buy. I don't know how I accidentally ordered it. I have no freaking clue, but <laughs> it, it happened. So anyways, I'm gonna unbox these guys and we'll get a better look at them. So first I'm gonna do Empress. So Empress, even though it sounds like a girl's name, it is actually a guy. And yes, I figured that out. I had to look it over. Again, I don't know usually how I feel about Arabians. It is a very interesting position, which I guess Arabians do that. I don't know why Arabians are taught to, like, strike. I don't know if that's just an Arabian trait or if people teach their horses that. I don't know, just me being curious about the world. But I do love the color. The tail, I actually am kind of in love with the tail. The tail is very, like, sassy and I don't know, I just really like that. Which, yes, I do know that Arabians are sassy as hell, but I still don't like them because they're too sassy. I like sassy quarter horses, those are cool, but like sassy Arabians, it's like, oh god, they're, they're a bit too much for me. Actually, confession, I have never seen an Arabian. Actually, this is false because I saw a Arabian at Briarfest a few years ago, so this is a lie, I just wasn't thinking. And that mane, like, holy hell, that mane is absolutely beautiful. Like, it actually looks so detailed, too. Sometimes the long manes are a little bit wacky, but that mane is super detailed and super realistic to me. I am in love with the mane. I didn't notice it before, but he's got a tiny little spot of white on his forehead, which I love how, like... The mane is like swishing out of the way just for that little spot. It's honestly really adorable and he's look, he's so handsome. But once again, bays just steal my heart. Bays and like rich sorrels just steal my heart. Like, oh, 
so beautiful. So that was Empress. And now I'm gonna do Bermuello. I love Bermuello so far. I already love him. I know a lot of people are a bit iffy with brands, mainly because like how they're made, but I love it when a horse has a brand on them. I just, I think it's just so old fashioned and I love it. His face is absolutely adorable and I, do have this mold but I don't have this mold with its mane braided and it's honestly like I'm not gonna say I like it better than the one when it's not braided but I do kind of like the change it's very nice and neat and he totally reminds me of a show jumper and that's exactly what he is or at least I hope he is sometimes I say show jumper and they're actually like hunter jumpers and I'm like oh god yes I know the difference between a hunter jumper and a show jumper a hunter jumper jumps for four Form. They look more at form and like how nicely collected your horse is and how nicely you go over the jump and how efficiently, like how efficiently you do it and how beautiful you look while doing it while show jumping is more like just get over the damn jump and do it as fast as possible, like haul ass. <laughs> I don't know, somebody tell me if he's a hunter jumper or a show jumper because I'm too lazy to get up and go look at that box because I threw it. <laughs> I don't know. I love his tail, oh my god. His tail, I think it's kind of cute because there's like a little knot in the middle. I don't know why that's there, but it's kind of cute. I like it how like nice and neat it is. As, like I like horses with like manes and tails that are out, but occasionally it's nice to see them just braid it up for once, you know? Again, I'm in love with the brand. I can't really tell what it is. It looks like it says CS with like an eagle or something on it. I can't, it's like some type of bird. I don't know. I'm putting a light on it just so you guys can see it. It's very interesting. Um. Oh, it might be like a C5 with like a bird on it. I'm not quite sure though. It's very interesting. So that was Bernuello. By the way, I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that name. Usually I have the name in front of me, but like, like I said earlier, I threw that box because I don't like having the boxes surrounding me. And here is our 80th anniversary horse, 80th anniversary celebration horse for Tracker Supply, which I think is gorgeous. Excuse my French, it is a mare, which now I love even more female power. I'm not a feminist, I'm an equalist. I love men and I love women. The horse is a little bit dark for my taste. I'm not sure if it's just, I don't know, there's like a, almost like, usually I like a purple tint to it, but it's a little weird to me. I don't know, I like to a lot better online. Like, looking at, at it from the camera's point of view, it almost looks like seal brown or black, which it's probably like a lighter seal brown, but it basically looks black, like through the camera because the shadowing. I will have to admit the socks are getting a little bit old for me because Briar does do a lot of flashy socks, like all four socks, and they're all traveling up the leg, which makes it technically an Overo paint, but it's not, and it's like kind of... Weird, because the mare that I have, who is a very, very light bay, has literally the same exact socks as this mare. And it's kind of pissing me off. And now that I look at it, it has the same exact blaze on it. But it works. The blaze works. I always, I mean, I love blazes. I'll never get used to blazes necessarily. Like, I just love blazes. So I'm at like, mm, a chocolate horse with a white blaze. Ugh. Love. Like, look at how adorable this horse is. It's so cute. Oh, I guess it's a little different. The blaze kind of goes off to the side, so it kind of goes towards the other eye, which I also think is super adorable. I like how Tractor Supply actually picked a mare instead of a stallion. Maybe because mares get stuff done? I don't know. I don't know why they picked a mare. Maybe just because they thought the mold was cool and they thought it represented tra Tractor Supply, but I'm just, I'm still happy they chose a mare because prior favors stallions, mainly because stallions are more famous. And FYI for y'all, foals have to get their traits mainly from mares, not from stallions. Because, I mean, it's being formed in the mare. I don't know the science behind it, but most foals get their traits from mares, not stallions. It's interesting. So that was the 80th anniversary of Tracker Supply Horse, who I, I'll name someday. <laughs> and last but not least, our mystery Palomino Horse. If you, <laughs> once again, if you guys know this horse's name, please tell me down in the description below because I'm curious. <laughs> once again, I did admire this horse 
online. I didn't actually expect to buy it. It is a used horse from eBay, so there are a few scratches on it, but I don't really care too much about it. I just love the coloring of the horse and the mold in general. Again, I'm in love with blazes, so I, you know I had to pick it for the blaze. I also do like how distinct the features are on the horse. It, there's two socks on one side and no socks on the other, and, and I'm curious on, to see if this horse is just a random horse that Briar decided to paint, or if it's a horse that they were referencing off of, like maybe a show jumping horse. Okay, quick note, I wish that Briar did a horse that looks like this, like the whole front side of the horse is the same, but the back side is digging its haunches into the ground like it was slide stopping, and you know, not the braided mane. I think that would be the most beautiful horse ever, and I would buy every single one that Briar came out with. Oh my god, I would love one like that. If some, if there's a way to submit like a mold um, idea to Briar. Oh my god, please say, say that for me. Oh my god, or I'll do it myself. I'll figure it out. <laughs> but anyways, because I mean, if you really look at it, if you take away the the hunch that we're looking at right now with no sock in the behind, which from the front would be the back left haunch or hind leg, then it would look like a reined cow horse. I, I, I definitely favor the western world, so like, I just wish they'd do that, because I feel like Briar definitely favors the English world a lot more than they do the western world, mainly because there's a lot more going on and the English world is much richer than the western world. I don't know, I'm just going on about how I wish this horse was a reined cow horse, but I still love it for what it is. I do, the braids are a little bit um I don't know compared to Brunuello I like this horse's I, or sorry I like Brunuello's braids much better they're much more detailed but this of course is an older version of the sapphire mold so you know they're it's gonna be like that the tail I really like I really like how the tail is formed um I also love it how this is like a darker palomino but the main tail are still white I absolutely love palominos with like completely white manes and tails. It's just so beautiful to me. I just love palominos in general. Like, I'm honestly debating on whether a sorrel is my favorite color or a palomino is my favorite color and horse. I just don't know at this point. It's so beautiful. I love all the detail on the shoulder and I wish Briar did more detail on the haunches, but besides that, I absolutely love the horse. It's so beautiful. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I will definitely I've been working so hard to make content for you guys I've been working super hard on seekers and I've been working super hard on getting my Thanksgiving special out even though it's been like forever which honestly probably that Thanksgiving video will be out before this video is out because this is probably gonna be another banked video just in case I like run out of inspiration or I don't have time to post but anyways hope you guys enjoyed remember to rate comment subscribe and follow me on my social medias down in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video bye